Hello. Welcome to Vespers for the Advent season. It is our hope that in the next few minutes, you will be able to center your hearts and minds on this season as we meditate on the birth of God's Son into our world. In this, our third week of Advent, we focus our attention on the joy of the coming Emmanuel. Our world is filled with chaos and unrest. Some days it can be difficult to muster the courage to be joyful. As Christ was coming into the world 2,000 years ago, there were just as many questions about poverty, war, politics, and oppression as there are today. In fact, We learn from later biblical authors that the whole world was in the pains of childbirth, waiting to see how the world would be delivered and who that deliverer would be. Those birthing pains were very real for Mary as she carried the light of the world in her womb those last few weeks. Surely she was curious how this all would be her greatest blessing and what ways God would choose to use her in his master plan. Surely she was still anxious about how and when the baby would come as they made their journey into Bethlehem. And yet, just like Mary, we are encouraged to discover joy in the waiting during this season of preparation for the Incarnation. As we continue our meditation, pray this prayer aloud with me by speaking the response. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, as we ache and groan as in the pains of childbirth, anticipating our coming Savior, as we journey with Mary, pondering what it means for the Son of God to be born as the Son of Man. As we ground ourselves in the hope and steadfast love of a God who comes to save. As we meditate on the joy that Advent brings, take just a few moments to slow your breathing, bringing your body and soul to a place of rest in God's presence. For the next few moments, let's listen to the passage from Luke 1, 46 through 55, known as Mary's Song. We will be reading the selection three times, pausing after each reading for the chance to meditate and reflect. If you desire, feel free to make notes on your thoughts as you reflect. Let's begin. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever. Just as he promised our ancestors. As we read through the second time, take notice of what word or phrase stands out to you. 
And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Thinking of that word or phrase, what, if anything, do you sense God saying to you? about the joy that Advent brings. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. No matter what you experienced in these moments of reflection, take a moment and thank God for joining you during this time. As we close our time together, let me offer these questions for reflection and challenge. What mighty things has the Lord done for you in the past? What mighty things has the Lord done for you in the present? What mighty ways do you need God to act in your future? Take a moment. Rejoice in God's mighty hand in your life. Thank you for taking these few moments to be with the Lord. We will have a new Vesper service each day of Advent, and it is our hope that you will make it a part of your daily rhythm. As we conclude, speak this blessing with me. Make room in our hearts for the coming of your Son. Create space in our lives for the Messiah to take up residence in our home. And prepare our bodies to become vessels of the good news that Jesus brings. For the light of the world is coming. The light of the world has come. The light of the world is here. Amen and Amen. <laughs>